Immediately after Kofi Annan communicated his decision to both President Mwai Kibaki and Prime Minister Raila Odinga, there were a flurry of activities and meetings. With the government clearly having been wrong-footed by the new twist, Indeed, the President and the Prime Minister summoned the Justice Minister, the Attorney General and Internal Security Minister, among others, for a meeting that ended at around 3 p.m. at the office of the President. No, 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 no. Later, Mutula Kilonzo delivered a government statement. The government is working on a draft constitutional amendment bill on an independent tribunal to deal with the crimes within the framework of the Rome Statute. It is a statement that suggested the government would soldier on despite Anand's decision, but also betrayed the fact that the government had been stunned into action. The government has also dispatched a copy of the Witness Protection Act regulations made thereunder, as well as steps taken to set up the Witness Protection Unit. But passing that bill in Parliament remains government's biggest headache. Parliament seems to be divided down the middle, each side holding a hardline stance. Aid is the, is the solution. And I'm telling you, this has got the support of the majority of members of Parliament. Not because we want anybody to be taken there, but because we believe with the failures that have taken place before, this cannot be implemented here. No, no, not on this. The team would not respond to any questions from journalists today. Had the government adhered to the initial working timetable, the local tribunal would have been set up by December last year and perpetrators of the post-election violence would have started facing trial here at home by March this year. Kofi Annan seems to have gotten the impression that the local tribunal might just take eternity to establish. While the government delegation that travels to Geneva came back with the impression that the government had a grace period of 12 months to set up a local tribunal. And so when Kofi Annan communicated that he had handed over the infamous envelope to the ICC prosecutor, it seems to have gotten the government unawares. And so the big challenge for the government now is to convince reluctant members of parliament to pass the constitutional amendment bills and establish a local tribunal. Sylvia Chebet, Citizen TV, Nairobi.